Hello and welcome to another revision video. Today we're looking at the Edexcel Foundation Tier Revision Workbook and we're doing the standard form section which is their section uh, 17 or page 17 in their revision guide. Uh, so for question one, write 45,000 in standard form. So 45,000, we're in effect uh, writing this as a number between 1 and 10 times by a power of 10. Uh, so the way that we do it is we look at where we would move our decimal point to. So we've moved it from here and we've moved it to here. So we've moved it one, two, three, four places. So it would be 4.5 times 10 to the 4. And we use that method for all of these. Uh, for negative numbers, uh, technically what we're doing is moving the decimal point five places uh, in this direction. Uh, it has the effect of adding or becoming five zeros. So we're going to have 0, 0.0, so that's two zeros, three, four, five, three, four. So that's how I tend to do uh, small numbers in standard form. Uh, write this one in standard form. Uh, this currently isn't in standard form because there's a decimal point missing between the two and the eight. So let's just zoom in. I don't think there's a two. There is no decimal point there. Uh, so I'm going to be adding six zeros after the eight digit. So two, eight, and then six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, write these numbers in standard form. We're going to do this really quickly. So I'm looking at 5.67 times by 10 to that, and I've moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places, so to the power of 5. Uh, for this one, likewise, I'm going to 5.67, and I've moved the decimal point to there, so I've moved it, oh, I can count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, so it's going to be times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, for part C, uh, this one doesn't have any decimal points in, so I'm just going to be adding eight zeros, so five, six, seven, with eight zeros. So I'm going to add two, and then six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I write this number in standard form, so this is going to become decimal points going to go there, so my number is going to be 6.74, and I've moved the decimal point six places, so times 10 to the six. Um, work out the answer, giving the answer in standard form to two significant figures. So I need to bring up my calculator. Okay, um, so uh, work out n plus m. So in effect, uh, we've got it written there. 6.4 times 10 to the 5 would be m. So on my calculator, I type that in as 674 with four zeros. And I've mistyped. Uh, plus... 5.4 times by 10 to the 5. So that gives me, um, does it say right in standard form? Give your answer in standard form correct to two significant figures. So that's going to be uh, 7.3 to two significant figures times by 10 to the power. And I've moved that three, six places. Let's just double check six places. Yeah. For the second bit, uh, subtract them. Uh, I'm just going to take my calculator and change the plus to a minus. Just to save myself a bit. Leg work. So that's going to become 6.2 times by 10 to the, and we've moved that three, six places as well. So it's to the power six. Okay, question four. In 2014, the population of the United Kingdom was this. Uh, in 2014, the population of Russia was this. Work out the combined population of the two. Uh, so in effect, I'm doing the United Kingdom, uh, so I'm going to call that U plus R. And I'm just going to use my calculator, so 6.5 times by 10 to the power 7, plus 1.4 times by 10 to the power 8. So that's going to give me uh, this value. It says write your answer in standard form. Uh, so I'm going to write that as 2.05 times by 10 to the, and I'm going to write, I've moved that in effect, 3, 6, 7, 8 places. I uh, work out the difference between them, so I need to subtract them now. So this would be the United Kingdom minus Russia. So, no, it wouldn't actually, it would be the other way around. Because the Russia value is larger. So minus uh, 6.5 times by 10 to the 7. So when I subtract them, I would get 7.5 times by 10 to that. And then again, 3, 6, 7. And for question five, uh, we've got NASA launched spacecraft to the planet Mars, the distance from Earth to Mars, and it took this time work at the speed. So I, just on my calculator, I'm going to do this value, 5.63 times by 10 to the 8. 
and I want to divide that by 6,500. Mm -hmm. No, 6,050. So that's going to give me, and does it say standard form? Yep, so I'm going to write that as 9.3 times by 10 to the power, and I've moved that decimal point four places. So times by 10 to the 4, and my unit there, we're told it's here anyway, kilometers per hour. And that brings us to the end of that section. Again, that's section 17, that's uh, standard form from the Edexcel uh, Foundation Tier Workbook. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Subscribe if you like.